Augmented reality is on our phones and coming to our cars, but try and imagine seeing AR through your own two eyes. Not with glasses, but with contact lenses. Mojo Vision is a startup that wants to bring advanced AR tech into our lives in a way that was never possible before. And on today's show, we have CEO Drew Perkins and SVP Steve Sinclair here to talk about Mojo Vision. So my first question for you two gentlemen is, how'd you come up with this idea? So a decade ago, roughly, I got con uh, cataracts in my eyes and I had cataract surgery. And when they do cataract surgery, they put devices called intraocular lenses into your eyes. And I thought, you know, why in this day and age, and that was a decade ago already, can I have uh, bionic vision like the $6 million man? <laughs> I thought to myself, you know, someday I'm going to start a company to develop that. I'm a serial entrepreneur. The concept of augmented reality was already becoming very popular. I thought, well, obviously it would make sense to both commercially and just from the technology, integrate augmented reality capability into it at the same time. Is the idea to, to have contact lenses that would have augmented reality like a Google Glass, and so you would put this directly into your eyes? Uh, you would put it directly into your eyes and you get information like Google Glass, but Google Glass is more of a heads up display. It, it isn't very good augmented reality, it doesn't truly it gives you this little display up in the corner you can look at, but it doesn't show you information everywhere that you look. And the idea was it should show you images as if, as if they're really there. And that's what we're doing. And so, Drew, what would be some great uses of this smart contact lens? Well, actually, I'll, I'll jump in here. So uh, um, a lot of folks think about augmented reality as a heads-up display and bringing information in front of you for us. Um, it is contextual information. We want to bring up information that's useful in the moment. So imagine you're doing your show and your script is all in front of you, but there are no teleprompters in front of you. You have all the information you need um, available to you. You're a doctor working with a patient and all the patient information you need is there, but you're able to have a conversation with them eye to eye because you don't have something big and bulky on your face. So any kind of important information that you want to see in the moment, um, is useful for, for this kind of application. And then when you don't need it, it goes away. And so would your smartphone be doing most of the processing power then? Some of the processing power is happening on the smartphone. Some of it is happening on an accessory that's helping to pass data to the contact lenses. Um, some of it can be happening in the cloud. Um, and in fact, our smart contact lens actually has a small uh, arm processor on it as well. Now, because this affects the body, what type of approvals do you need to bring this to market? So we require FDA approval. All contact lenses are regulated as medical devices in the United States. That goes to safety. We need to prove uh, to the FDA that this is an extremely safe uh, devices in all aspects. And, and we intend to uh, truly earn people's trust. We want people to trust us to put technology on their eyes, literally, and, and have it be with them all day long. How much longer before we would actually see this in the marketplace? So it's probably going to be a few years, um, and we don't want to guess when the FDA is going to give us that approval, but we're working hard to get there. So what do you think is the next milestone for Mojo Vision? So uh, I'll answer that one. I think that, uh, you know, for us, it's continuing to build out the prototypes that we have, um, prove that they do what we want them to do and that they're safe and effective to ourselves before we take them to the FDA for um, clinical trials. We're working very closely um, to build a solution for some of our earliest customers, which are going to be people that have low vision conditions, um, which will allow them to see information in front of them that they otherwise wouldn't be able to see. Uh, so we've been partnering with the Vista Center in Palo Alto, which helps people uh, with low vision and blindness to uh, cope with the conditions that they have. Um, and we believe we can help them by giving them contact lenses that allow them to see things in front of them, like the edges of curbs or signs or cars or other obstacles that might be in their path as they're trying to get from place to place. You know what, that's really remarkable. Um, and I'm so glad that you mentioned that because uh, on a personal level, when I was uh, 14, as I had a cornea transplant, mm. and in my right eye, I, my vision is probably 2250. Mm -hmm. And on my left eye, I have 2020. And so quite often, you know, I'll go to grab a glass and I like miss it, you know, and people say, oh gosh, she's drinking again. You know, it's not because you're drinking, it's just because you don't have that 3D perspective. But if, gosh, you know, if your technology could enable people that have various conditions 
uh, live a normal and fulfilled life. I think that's absolutely phenomenal. Really, that's that's great kudos that's, that's for you guys. That's absolutely our goal. You know, that's sort of our north star. What we're really trying to do is help people uh, in all walks of life and all uh, different kind of issues that they might have, or even help normal people be, you know, reach their full potential. Gentlemen, thank you both again for coming on the Kim Commando Show. And I don't know about you, but I'm starting to think it might be worth trading my glasses in for a pair of these smart lenses. Hey, thanks for watching. Now a few things. Don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more digital know-how, check out all these other great links.